the housing market is booming. And interestingly enough, in the middle of a recession, million dollar listings are selling three times as fast as they have this time last year. If you're interested about what's going on in the real estate market in Southern Utah, and if you're thinking if right now is a good time to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, this video is for you. All of this right after this intro. What's up everybody? My name is Nick Rostopchin and I'm a realtor here in St. George. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here we talk about all things Southern Utah, like living, working, and playing in St. George, as well as provide valuable information about buying, selling, or investing in real estate right here in Southern Utah. So if you're new around here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our new videos. Home values are going up very quickly and when we look at the numbers, it will make sense exactly why, but we'll dive into that in just a second. What's interesting to see is what types of homes are selling. According to the National Association of Realtors, home sales under 100,000 are down by 16%. Home sales from 100,000 to 250,000 are up by 4.3%. Home sales valued 250 to 500,000 are up by 36%. Home sales 500,000 to 750,000 are up by 66% and home sales from 750,000 to a million are up by 85%. Home sales over a million dollars are up by 106%. Luxury real estate is selling, which is driving the value of the entire market up. But there's a couple of other reasons why the real estate values are doing so well. Federal Reserve has cut the interest rates down to an all-time low. So if you go out and take out a mortgage or refinance your existing home, you could save a ton of money versus taking out the same amount of money a year ago. So from a monthly payment perspective, it is a lot easier to afford more real estate for the same amount of money. But there is another factor, which is supply versus demand. In any market, supply controls the demand and right now the inventory is at all time low so the values are continuing to drive up having high demand low supply and cheap debt creates bidding wars amongst buyers therefore it's a perfect storm for a seller's market as you have multiple buyers going into bidding wars in order to purchase the same property in fact over 52 percent of all homes are receiving multiple offers the concern is that the home values are rising too quickly and what happens if the home values rise above what the people are willing to pay. I'm going to answer that question, but first I need you to do me a favor. Smash that like button so that more people can get notified about this video and they could benefit from the information that I'm about to provide. It is great news for the homeowners as they're seeing their equity rise and rise. And according to Lawrence Yan, the chief economist of the Realtors Group, he says the prices are rising too fast. Generally, he says economists like to see home prices climb in line with people's wages, but in recent years, home prices have been rising much more quickly. See, the reason why first-time homeowners matter is because they typically make up about 35% of the total pool of buyers. And in recent year, they went from 35 to about 31%. If home prices continue to rise faster than wages, eventually we will get to a choking point where the home buyers can no longer afford to buy a home. There's a few important things to understand about the market that we're currently in. There's a great opportunity for a refinance if you currently own a home because you could pull out a ton of equity from your house. If you're purchasing a home, make sure you're buying something that you can't afford, not the maximum pre-approval limit or the maximum that you think you're able to afford. And if you're worried about the future of the housing market, look at the jobs and wages. If you bought your home prior to March 2020, chances are there is a great opportunity for you to refinance your home. And if you do this correctly, you're able to save a ton of money by refinancing a smaller amount on a smaller interest rate. In other words, if your mortgage is for 300,000, but your value is up to 450,000, make sure that you only refinance 300,000. Therefore, you're able to get out of debt quicker. And with your new lower monthly payment, you're able to make a larger monthly payment that you're used to making and therefore pay off that debt faster, or even better yet, refinance at a 15-year term. 
If you're considering doing a refinance, it is important to shop around a couple of lenders to make sure that you're getting the best deal possible. It is in your bank's interest to make sure you stay in debt for as long as possible at the highest interest possible. And it is in your best interest to make sure that you can pay off that debt as quickly as possible. If you're looking for recommendations for a great local lender right here in Southern Utah, we have several that we could recommend. Just reach out to me, shoot me a call or an email, and I would be happy to put you in touch with one of our preferred lenders to get the ball rolling and to make sure that you can take advantage of these great refinance rates. Michonne and I made a commitment a little while ago, sometime early 2019, that we won't miss a single month with the Southern Utah real estate market updates. So let's take a look and see how are things doing right here in Washington County. So these numbers are current for the month of September as we're still in October and we do not yet know how we finished in October. There's a couple of key metrics when reviewing the real estate market performance, um, which consists of the total number of listings, total number of listings sold, number of listings that went under contract, and the overall supply of inventory, as well as the total days on the market. So in the month of September, Southern Utah or Washington County, I should say, had an absorption rate of 1.56, meaning that in less than a month and a half, if the new listing stopped hitting the market, we would run out of homes to sell completely. Median sale price was up to 383,000. Median combined days on the market is down to just 13. A total number of sold listings was 544, which is up by 43.5% from the same time in 2019. The total number of listings that went under contract was 541 versus just 332. So that is also up by 63%. The total number of active listings was 658, which is down by 47% year over year. And a total number of new listings was just 510, which is down by about 10% from last year. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, luxury market seems to be booming. On a national level, the number of listings over a million dollars that went under contract doubled. But if we look at Southern Utah and we look at total sales between one and two million dollars, um, it went up by nearly 300%. In September of 2020, we sold 15 listings versus September of 2019, there was just four homes in that price range that sold. Uh, a total number of homes over a million dollars, between one and two million dollars that went under contract in 2019 was 16 versus just three homes that went under contract in that same price range in 2019. And a total number of new listings in that category stayed about flat, actually was down by 21%. We went from 19 listings in 2019 to 15 listings in 2020. So the luxury market in Southern Utah is absolutely booming. Now, if you're thinking about purchasing a home during this time, the most important thing to do is to make sure that you're buying something that you could actually afford. Don't use the low interest rates to get yourself in trouble. Whatever home you're purchasing, make sure you're comfortable with the payment based on the future of your job or business um, so that you're comfortable with making the mortgage payments. If you need any help shopping for homes in Southern Utah, feel free to check out our website to get your search running. And it can be a bit tricky throughout all price ranges as the total number of listings that are currently active on our market starting from the lowest available price and all the way up to multi-million dollar homes is below 600. It's completely unprecedented. As much as this word is overused in 2020, our market has not seen anything like that before. There are nearly 2,000 agents in our board and we're typically seeing anywhere from 16 to 1,800 active listings and we're down to just 600. But if you have the right realtor, you're able to make things happen. And of course, selling in this market could be a bit challenging as well as buyers throughout all price ranges are submitting multiple offers on multiple listings just to make sure that they could get something under contract and making sure that you have the right realtor on your side will help you weed out all the potential buyers that may just drag out the time without 
the ability to perform because they simply had too many listings under contract. If you have any questions about selling a home in Southern Utah in this crazy market, please make sure to give me a call. I will post my information below this video. And even though Michonne and I have been overwhelmed for the last few months with all of the buyer and seller activity in this market, we're here for you. We're happy to help. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us. And if you need help immediately, we just took on two new uh, buyer specialists onto our team. They're not new to the business, they're new to our team and they're happy to help. So we just try to make sure that we have somebody available to take care of you based on your schedule and on your needs. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend and make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.